Isn't there like a bull on fucking like Wall Street that has his balls out or some shit? Is that yeah. fucking bronze bull? Oh, like, yeah, why, dude. Why is that there? The, there is... <laughs> <laughs> it's not sound too like, who the fuck designed that thing? <laughs> You're right. It's just like, grab the bull by the horns. <laughs> his balls are swinging. You know? He's running. Because, I don't know what that was for either, man. It's be, like, what the fuck is bro, bro, across cultures, bro, bulls have different, different <sighs> meanings, bro. Conversation that never ends. This is Timeless Talk. I am your host, AJ, to my right, as always. We got Furious. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. We're back with y'all. And you know what? I have to address this right away off, off the bat. I know he said we were going to talk about Gypsy Rose today. <clears throat> right? That was supposed to be the next episode topic. But we decided to uh, talk about the Olympics because... The world's talking about the Olympics. Yeah, it's in Paris this year. They had a very, very uh, controversial, interesting three-hour fucking opening. Right, Furious? It was a little strange. I mean, it was different, for sure. I mean, I, I don't know. I think like there's a lot of weirdness in all kinds of performances nowadays, man. And this one in particular was uh, was said to be very offensive towards Christians. I mean, what, what are your thoughts on it, bro? Quick, brief, fast thoughts, just kind of looking at it in a glance. I think three hours is extensive as hell, bro. Yeah, for uh, you know, what I mean? what the fuck does it need to be three hours long, man? Yeah, no, nah, I mean it, it's always different, you know. <clears throat> but I mean that's what their creative director probably wanted, you know. Yeah, we'll deal. We'll do a deeper dive, obviously, into like what exactly was said, right, or what the director had to say for his team of uh, the uh, Olympic coordinators, right, or the the people that had the say in all this, the ones that okayed it, right. Mm-hmm. So for him and his people, they they kind of had they had they had they had of course they had a response. Uh, smart ass shit. I'll just put it out there right now. Fuck it. But we're talking about specifically from that opening. Once the sun went down, the weirdest shit started happening, right? Because at first it started off during the day, and um, you know it's just basically all the teams of the countries, right? Each country was just coming in on boats, mm-hmm. and you know I was like, okay, this is kind of initially when I wanted to watch it and review it with with Furious here, I was like, well, let me put it on and see. It's on Peacock. Let me check it out. I click on the shit and I'm thinking, okay, the opening ceremony couldn't be more than what, an hour and a half, maybe tops. Mm. That shit is three hours long. So I was like, whoa, okay, let's see when it starts. The fucking sun is out. I'm like, okay, I saw all the controversial shit that they were posting. It was dark. Mm. It was at night. So I'm like, damn, this shit literally started when the day was still light out. And right. then this shit ended when it was dark. You guys get the point. Time lapse, right? So I had to fast forward it, right? I get to the point. I'm like, I fast forward it, fast forward it. And I look and I'm like, okay, it's dark now. So maybe I got to, now I got to start from this point and watch it from this point onward, right? The last hour and a half, I think it was, was, was what took place at night. And man, it, it just, the whole drag scene, that's really the main, the main thing they're saying is like a <clears throat> straight mockery to the Last Supper, of Christ and the disciples. Mm-hmm. That's what they're claiming it was. And it did look, it looked, it looked very similar, if not the exact same. You know what I'm saying? It was a, uh, representation it was for saying. sure and it, that was intentional you can't tell me it wasn't it just it definitely did look like it was that's for sure um some people were claiming that it wasn't <clears throat> the director back to what we were saying the director was claiming instead of answering the question he kind of danced around it they were like well why would you approve that and the first thing he says is well uh he's like i actually approved it because in this country they kind of like taking the jab slow jab at america and other countries that promote freedom right He's like, in this country, we actually let our creators have freedom of speech and freedom of expression. We don't put limitations on it. So if they interpreted it, you guys, inter- you're free to interpret it however you want. That was just their creative display that they came up with. and has nothing to do with what you guys are claiming that it is. Right. Paraphrasing, of course. That's what he was saying. I don't know, man. That shit looked blatant to me, bro. And they, they're playing stupid about it. Like, oh, no, it, that was actually a runway. That wasn't a table. But then you bring out a tray of food with this dude painted blue. Right. I'll put a picture for you guys to see uh, either and probably down there in the front. But yeah, this dude's look, he's painted. He's on the table. You've seen it, right? Bro's lean laying down 
he's like he's got he's got a bright orange beard. There's food around him. He's like on a plate of food. So clearly there is a feast. So it is a table. For you to say it's not a table, it was just a runway, and the DJ would have just happened to be in the middle. Nah, man. It just it was a display of that. It had to be. There's no I mean, I'm not gonna say it has to be, but, I, but like I said, off off camera, man. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> what do you what else do you expect, man? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay, like to me that like <laughs> I guess their explanation of it is like it's like a I don't know maybe like show and tell type of thing you know what I'm saying like yeah. for them it's like an artsy thing but I mean the only thing about it is like the thing about it is that's they're the ones doing that shit you know what I mean yeah it's, they're if anyone if they're making a market of anything it's 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 of themselves you know so it has nothing to do with the people watching it in my opinion you know like they're uh, <laughs> expressing an and an idea you know so. The way that they executed it is, is it, it, it just didn't resonate with it with, with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? It didn't resonate, and then it, you know it, it opens up an, another discussion because you know orientation and all that kind of stuff, and you know, and then because there's a lot of controversy with you know. With no, the, no, yeah, no uh, doubt, no, there is, there is, there, no, there is a lot of controversy. Kind of, you know what I'm saying in, in that area, especially when it comes to like Christianity. So, but at the same time, like <coughs> that can be flipped. It can be flipped because let's say if they deny them. The right to, to um, participate in that it could be like, oh, discrimination or something like that. So there's always going to be, there's really, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that it, I mean, hey, if someone got offended by it, you know what I'm saying? Someone got offended by it, but at the same time, it's like, you're not the one, you're watching it, you're not the one doing it. They're the ones, if anything, they, they got to answer for that shit, you know what I mean? No, that's like, true. That's true. They have that. No, I see what you're saying. So, in, in, in a, basically, in so they, many words, you they made a pull of themselves. They're the ones that came in. The they're guy, the, they're the ones the doing. The, yeah, they're the ones that are mocking. Yeah, God and disciples. You know not, not, not. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in my opinion, I think you know it's the uh, uh, <coughs> Olympics. It's the Olympics, so that's a big event. It's almost like the Super Bowl, right? Basically. So your 15 minutes of fame, <laughs> people are still talking about that shit. Yeah, we look at us. You we're know? talking about it. They might ask. Who knows, man? They, this might lead to them getting getting interviewed on freaking. I don't know, Ellen. Fucking Ellen show or some shit. He said Ellen DeGeneres. Not, not, that, I didn't. I didn't just. I didn't say that. I just. That was the first name that just came. Out, you know what I'm saying? So it's not. It's not the, he, said, he just said the first name. It could be any uh, Ellen at all, right? You know, or freaking. I don't know, Sally or some shit. Sally Ooh, on Sally's show. <laughs> on Sally's show. But uh, <laughs> oh shit, man. But yeah, it just it, it opens up a lot of. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. It is. It's you can have a very uh, broad. Uh, discussion on this kind of thing no you, I, mean, I agree because it, it, it's a touchy subject man it's because it because it, it is it is um an egregious display in my opinion when, it was when, yeah when it when it comes to that because it's like it why would you make it like that you know what i'm saying exactly so you then know? you can see why people are offended no I, why why, I, I Christians see why are. but at the same time do you have to be in an uproar about it? it's like you it's like you weren't the one doing it that's true. You know that's, a, that's an interesting perspective because we talked, we had that out, you, yeah. you know, that conversation off camera, yeah. and you did say that they might be, <clears throat> they might be more more offended that that it was allowed, right? Yeah. But at the same time, if the if the mindset of the person in charge of that is the, whatever it is, that's that's the ri- that's the risk that people take. You know what I'm saying? Just, that's true. J- just like when like when we vote in, or when someone gets elected president or whatever, right? Yeah. Or in any kind of like position of power. We're at mercy of how they want to conduct their will. Like literally, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no, there's no rule saying, "Hey, you have to do it like this." Like they can really do whatever the fuck they want un- until they do it. That's true. You know what I mean? So no, that's true. whoever was the 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 creative organizer of that, that was his mindset or his or hers, and then that's that's what they chose. They probably thought that it was going to be a fucking smash, but <laughs> not not <laughs> now they know. <laughs> it kind of smash. You know? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a, guys. We're only covering one element so far because like there's way more. Like right, we're, we're just talking about one. The yeah. first most offensive. This is probably was was the most offensive it, thing, it was, right? It was that that that's what it appears to be. Yeah, it appeared to be. Yeah. yeah. So I have a couple clips that I want to share with you guys. Um, the first one, and I sent these. I sent these clips over to, to Furious during during the week, up to leading to this episode. Right. The, fucking, uh, the one with the, with the parkour that was long, man. I, the parkour one, yeah. Well, you know that 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 shooting took all day, bro. That's actually we should, probably should have started there. That's actually one of the. That shit was. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys just the, just the parkour part. It was a lengthy like mission, bro. From him getting from with the torch to the spot. Like, yeah, you saw that. And he hopped on a boat and then it fucking went across, of, and then 
And then, like, he was, like, on the rooftops and all that, bro. That, yeah. But, like, just look. at I thought that was kind of cool how he was, like, running across the roofs and shit. That was yeah. kind of dope. But it's creepy. He had a hood on. So what we're talking about, guys, for context, for those that haven't seen it, um, we'll just show it to you guys real quick now. Let's see a bit of parkour that was first invented in Paris in the 1870s, reinvented in 1980. It's a great way to get around the city. Zip wire across the Seine. How mysterious. Skills. Medal of the Games has been created. Monet de Paris. Original, courageous piece. Pain was caught on fire. French trades people have managed to restore it. It's been acknowledged here at the opening ceremony. Do you hear the people sing? France, music, theatre, tradition interwoven all the way through these games, even at the beginning of every sporting session. Joined by 36 dancers from the French army and 60 musicians, all dressed by Dior. That torch is on the run again. We're getting a private tour of the Louvre Museum. It's only one thing everybody will be looking at over the next few days at Paris 2024. Usain Bolt, superstar and showman, an eight-time gold medalist. I spy a flame in the distance, on the roof. Paris, the city of light. We're following the path down the city. So many buildings in Paris illuminated at night, but you must remember as well that Paris and France leading the development of the film industry, the cinematograph, the Lumiere brothers, Gromlo, 
Georges Méliès. The film of a steam train sparked absolute terror in theatres when it was first shown. And Georges Méliès' A Trip to the Moon astounded and advanced the way people thought. of Michael Phelps, the most successful Olympian of all time. So that was that was what we were, we were referring, and um, if you, as you as you just saw, this man would look like he was off off the set or off the video game set of a uh, Assassin's Creed, right? That's what it looked like. Got a fucking ninja looking dude, yeah, the hood, hood, and all that shit. He's carrying the torch. It's that's a little strange too. It, I mean, that could have some dark symbolism behind it as well, or it could just be cool because I thought it looked cool. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. They just wanted to be, you know, interesting with it. That didn't look cool. I, think, I just a little eerie when he's on the boat. Kind of weird. What I, what I think, man, is is that in this day and age, bro, people we take symbolism way too seriously, you know, yeah. or, or we might think we might see a parallel and we're like, oh my, like, that means this. But like in some in some cases, yes, but not not in all cases. You know what I'm saying? I think, yeah. I, to me, I thought it was just more of like a, of like a stylistic thing. But who knows? Maybe if. if <laughs> something comes out and that, you know, that's the fucking I don't know, like a symbol of. Some some bullshit. Yeah, you know what I mean, because it, it could mean something. I mean, I feel like I feel like everything means something these days. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, but I mean to point to it to being like something like sinister, bro. I mean, at the end of the day, bro. I mean, people are sinister with or without that shit. So <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> no, that's a fair assessment, and that's true. <laughs> that was that. I didn't. Right? Watch, I, didn't I, I didn't watch the whole. The whole no, I didn't yeah, expect you to. No, I, I just yeah. skimmed through it too, bro. Yeah, There's no way. Just, yeah. I sat there and I was like watching. I was like, "Bro, this you have to skim through this." I'm like, "Who the who the fuck actually sat here and watched the whole fucking thing?" Bro? Just imagine how much money they fucking paid off <sighs> for that shit, bro. A lot, man. Because their thing is, we we have to be grand about it. It only happens every four years, which is true. It only happens every four years, but I mean, just the maybe that's what it was. Since it's such a since it's an event that only happens every four years, it's a sporting event, obviously, right? Right. The best the best athletes of each country, but. That display, that that opening had nothing to do with sports. Right. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You're trying to be creative. You're trying to express yourself, as they put it. But you're expressing yourself in a weird way. You know, you're using a stage that clearly you know a lot of eyes are watching it. That's probably why they did it that way. That's also mm-hmm. intentional. You know what I mean? Right. But it's like, at least make that shit make sense, man. I know I'm probably asking for a lot these days for saying it that way, but that shit don't got nothing to do with sports, man. Right. At least try to find a way. You know what I'm saying? Don't just at least make it make sense, man. The yeah. supper and all that shit—it just didn't make. Like, and then you got, huh? To, like to me, in my opinion, like to like time, like with that type of imagery, they could have used like you know <laughs> maybe like the Iliad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like what's his? Name? I was thinking the exact same name, thing. Like you know what's his name? Um, uh, Odysseus. You know, like shooting the arrow through all the little fucking holes and shit. Yeah. You know? See like, that? Like exactly that. that. Yeah, if you want to go with Greek gods, you know, you French like people, mythos. <laughs> yeah. mythos. Yeah. If you want to go with that mythos, you know, the French could have. Uh, I think maybe it wasn't just the French that were coordinating this. I don't know. They were hosting it, so I'd imagine. Anyway, 
whoever, wh- whatever, it doesn't matter who hosts, who, who actually coordinated it. But what I'm trying, what I'm trying, what I'm trying to get at is like, I'm agreeing with Furious. At least use that Greek god. And if you're going to make the mythos the Greek gods, you could have used, who is it? Was it, was it um, Hermes? That's the one that runs fast. And he has like the wings on his shoes. I'm not sure. From Hercules? Been, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Forgive me if I'm wrong, guys. I probably should have double checked that. But if it, I'm going to say Hermes, right? Supposedly. At least I think it's him. Anyway, that makes sense. That goes with the idea, right? That you're saying. It's right. with the guy that shoots the holes. Make it make sense, man. Use the Greek gods that are actually doing these sports, right? What they're claiming is that he, that, that, that blue, that dude wearing all blue, and I'll put a picture of him here now. That dude wearing blue that you guys see here with the orange beard is supposed to represent, I believe you said, humanity's... Like how much of a joke it is for humans to fight each other and they should just all have peace and love. What is a blue sparkly smurf looking motherfucker with an orange beard? How is he supposed right. to represent that? But the thing is, but look, I don't know. I'm just no. saying, I don't understand nah, that. That's a great question. Unapologetically, bro. But it, you know, but it, but it, <laughs> it just points towards like the mindset of whoever was running that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the guy in blue, that wasn't mm-hmm. his idea. <laughs> wasn't his idea, you know? What I'm saying? Like, they're just I mean, like, hey, it might have been. Nah, you don't think he had to say no. that? No, I mean, he had to say to say yes or no. <laughs> hey, said, that's you a want, good idea. I wear that leotard. hard. I'll do that shit. You know what I'm saying? They asked him, "Hey, man, <laughs> do you want to get painted blue?" You know what I'm saying? Like, are you okay with that? Probably, but oh. it wasn't his idea to make to to have it like. I that, see you know? saying. It, yeah. it just shows. It's okay. It's like this. It's like it's like watching in uh in a M night. Shyamalan film. Okay? Oh, here we go. It's kind of like that. You know what I mean? So, in, the, in the mind of M. Night Shyamalan. He was, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> yeah. like, you'll see, like, some that's shit. A good like, ex- that's a good example. It's like, okay, like, it's like, I can see that. That's M. Night, you know? Yeah. So, with something like this, if we know who the. Who that's the to be expected is, from him, right? Yes. So, <laughs> if we do more research on who was running it, yeah. then I, I think it'll. It'll, uh, oh, yeah. it'll, it'll quell a lot more facts. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. It, 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 it will correlate more. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because cause, because <laughs> it just seems egregious because it's like, what the fuck? It's, it's like a fashion. Yeah. It's like a weird fashion show. You know what I mean? It, it, for sure. You know That's what I mean? Lightly. <laughs> you know? And he, <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird fashion show. <laughs> and, he, and, you know, that whole thing with, with, with the table being, being like the runway. You yeah. Know, that was, you know, that was an attempt, you know, to... I guess make it, I don't know, make it more, uh, what's that word, acceptable? Why know? did? Why but couldn't they just use regular women, though? Because the creative director, bro, the creative director, man. <laughs> okay, man, you, you know, know what? what? <laughs> you're right. But it's you, a creative director, bro. He's, you know what? Furious is being nice right now, so <laughs> bro, I'm ready to just, I'm ready to just do it, bro. It's, I'm going to say it right now. Think I'm, about I'm, it. Think, think hot about take. It, bro. Okay, now, nah, right. Huh? Think about this. Think about this, right? Go ahead. Let's just say this, right? You're, let's say that you get promoted to, uh, let's say you're, a manager at a, at a at a company, right? Okay, you're gonna start doing things a little bit your way, right? Yeah. Is this, is, is this is promotion it, of the gay agenda, though? No, but if you, <laughs> let's just say that 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 you do like roll that way, right? And you, yeah. And you're trying to advance, you know, stuff for you and your fellow uh, people. You know, you might do things that are more inclusive for them. Yeah. But hey, like you know, like for this, no, we we need someone who's comfortable wearing this, and I know only person who's comfortable doing that is. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just the way is it? <laughs> oh shit! So I get what you're saying. Though. You know what I mean? So yeah, I know what you it's mean. Like it's it's already um, it's just the it's just the way that the the fucking shit goes. Just like yeah. you, you can talk that thing. You, you you can put that in almost any um scenario. Let, let's just say like okay, like Gordon Ramsay, right? Yeah, uh, he's probably gonna want to get people who are familiar with. <laughs> You know, Familiar. with cooking, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's, it depends on who's running it. Like the actors are not the, the ones who are doing that stuff, they're not the the issues. The person who was, who was, you know, putting the pieces here and there. Because they're the ones that you can't see. Yeah, no, they are. You know? They are. They're the ones you can't see. I agree. And the thing is too, is like, people are like, well, that means that, you know, that might mean that the, that the establishment's cool with that, you know, but the establishment is just, they're just the establishment, you know, they're not like, Hey, we need you to do this. And you know what I'm saying? They're, <laughs> they're just, you're paying them or they're paying you to, you know, to host an event. They, they trust you enough to make it entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And no doubt. for entertainment's sake, maybe it was entertaining, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, they're not, when, when that happens, bro, it's not like they just let them come back again. I don't. No. I don't think so. Maybe they do, either. but I think like something like this with the with the feedback, you know, the outrage. I don't think that person's gonna 
<laughs> be yeah. involved in the next set of Olympics. You know, yeah. he might do some stuff elsewhere. Yeah, he probably will. He might be doing you know some other theater work. It just ain't yeah. gonna be for the Olympics. It's almost like hosting the. <laughs> it's, it's almost like hosting the uh, the uh, Grammys and bombing. And it's like, oh shit, man! Like, basically, yeah, man. We, we're not gonna get back. You know? It's just, yeah, exactly. And it was the kind of thing to not just do with that big of an audience, you know. But I know that's probably that was their intention, yeah. regardless. I just yeah. think it wasn't the time and place for it. You know what I mean? Like they like like what he should have done is literally just had a had a runway or like a catwalk. <laughs> why you gotta why you gotta have twelve a catwalk? Did, did he have 12, 12 uh individuals right there at, uh, was that, was that, was I the, think was that's a good square? question. We, we can count, count it. We have to yeah, count it. We gotta, we gotta count, count it. We gotta count it. That's Cause right. Because if it was twelve and it's like okay, it, it, I mean, hey, that's that's his interpretation, but I'm not, I'm just not surprised. I'm not surprised when it's like that because someone if someone who had like more respect for that, they're not going to do that. No, I agree. They're not. You know I mean, and then this person obviously didn't. Or he probably saw it and didn't care care too much or think about it too yeah. much. Until oh well, that might offend the Christians. He didn't think that at all. They're hyping it up. You watch these uh, these newscasters. They're saying shit like immediately after you know following the uh, Paris Olympics, twenty twenty four Paris Olympics. They let the Christians know right outright. You're not you're not welcome here. Or you're not with us. You're not sitting with us. You know what's crazy? I don't man. think it was necessarily that. Maybe. I mean. But you know what's crazy about that is that it just, it opens, it leaves the, the door open for a, just a, lar- a lot larger con- um, conversation. Like, I believe in Christ. I'll say it. I'm a Christian, a of, bro. No, yeah. yeah but, I mean, I was, I was, I looked at it. I was disturbed by it for sure. I thought that, you know what? But like you said, not to cut you off, sorry. No, but on. like you said, I'm not the one mocking them. Yeah. They are. I know what I believe in my spirit and my heart and my soul, right? But the, those those stupid motherfuckers that were on stage and doing the shit they were doing were yeah. the ones that were mocking Jesus and the disciples, not me. Right. Right? So I could be disturbed and bothered by it, but I'm not going to be like, I mean, in the moment, like, disturbed, them, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to take it home with me. Right. Like, man, that really messed me up. Why did they do that? That fucked me up, man. But the thing is, you know, you don't well, have yeah. to live with it. That's a choice, yeah. right? You know, so take it with you. I read to that. Like, I think people should just, you know, look at it in a way where, hey, like they're the ones putting them, themselves Facts. in the country, you know, and that they're the ones in God's crosshairs now, not us. But at the same time, it, right. but see, but the fact that you said that too, it opens up the discussion because now there's there's a lot of uh, religious, you know, uh, denominations, all kinds of stuff, and there's a lot of different, you know, just religions. It opens up to like, okay, which one's right though? Yeah, that's there, true. there is a lot of hypocrisy in, in a lot of religions, especially uh, Christianity, you know? So, so there's, a, there's, a, there's a, it opens here, here up a big we, discussion when, when we it go, comes yeah. to that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> it's open. That's like, that, I think that's why um, the conversation with when it comes to, to this, it can go off the rails just because you're gonna, it's not going to end with that. You know, what I mean? <laughs> it's not, bro. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it can go off the rails. I agree. Yeah. I, I, that's why you know. So that that was that, right? I admit the last supper offensive. Yes, you know, came off the way it did. A lot of people received it the way that they received it. The majority of the people saw it the same way, even the ones that weren't Christians. I'm sure. Um, but go, again, back to going in chronological order. So we had that. We had the the fucking Assassin's Creed looking guy with the torch, right? Then as the night goes on, it oh, progresses. The huh? The, the horse. horse. Yeah, I was gonna get that next. So the horse, right? The horse, it, like I said, I don't think it happened exactly in this order, guys. I'm just saying the order that we chose, right? I mean, you Furious chose to just to, to explain what people were talking about the most. The horse. I'm not gonna lie to you. The idea looked cool on water because literally that's what it was. It was like it was like on a glider or like on a boat, right? But it looked like it was galloping. That's pretty innovative how they made the horse. I'll say that. Mm. Before I get into the symbolism being weird, I want to. I do want to take take a moment to appreciate the. Uh, what it took to make it, the engineering to make yeah. that thing look pretty cool, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. It oh, looked expensive. It, it looked expensive and it looked pretty cool, man. It was moving. The legs were moving like it was galloping. It was up on a, to to drive that thing must have been a little bit of a challenge because it was a physical actual person riding it. Oh, shit. That must have been a cool little experience, you know? Right. But the symbolism, again, we'll get to that in a second, but the engineering is really nice. Uh, I have a little clip. kind of want to show you guys now. Well, here's what went into that horse and we'll, we'll get into the symbolism right after. The metal horse that galloped down the Seine during the Olympics opening ceremony stunned viewers across the world. It was created here in Nantes, in western France. When we left at 10.15, we had a few doubts about whether it would work. Underneath its silver armour is a vast system of chains. It took a year's work and is now the source of a lot of pride in this workshop. 
on a reçu des, des milliers, we received des thousands and thousands of happy messages and congratulations. It was just incredible. It was a brilliant moment. My phone was ringing all the time. On the river, it looked like it was flying, but in reality it was on top of an electric boat, which was, at times, partly visible. The manufacturer of the boat has just returned home to Brittany from Paris. The boat is actually 14 meters long and 5 meters wide. It's 1.8 meters deep. It was designed to be invisible. The first challenge was to make a boat that barely rises above the surface of the water. We're talking only 15 centimeters. The first trials were carried out in June off the coast of western France, then in secret back in Paris in the middle of the night. The mysterious rider was this engineer, who is also the boat's co-creator. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a magical moment. The fun really outweighed the stress and everything else. The silver horse will be on display in Paris from October. Say that's no, I'm idiot. saying like because some of those fools, bro, like they they can they're giving you their interpretation, bro. Yeah, and they're already sold on it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and if you do read like Revelations, bro, the four horsemen, from what I from what I've seen, is not they're not like. It's part of the whole plan and shit. You yeah. know what I'm it's not like, oh, like the, like the beast, there's different, um, what's it called? Different, uh, what's that word? Interpretations of it. So there's one yeah. beast that comes out of the sea. There's like a dragon. You know what I'm saying? There's one of those. But like the pale horse, like it's not um, it's supposed to be sinister. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Reve no, for sure. Revelation is actually like, it's where God destroys the, the wicked and the, it's reborn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not like, There's there's a lot of interpretations that can be got from that, bro. No, don't doubt. You're right. No, you're not wrong about that. You know, like because it's like okay, if they have the white horse, right? The pale horse, white horse wings. Yeah. Okay, what does it mean now? They're claiming that. Well, you saw it, right? No, but, but like, what is it pointing towards? Like, what? What? Another COVID? Or what? 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 What's, what's, no. <laughs> the well, apocalypse. Like what the bro? The like, apocalypse. They've been talking about this here for the past two thousand years, the man. <laughs> You know what I, mean? I know, man, but it's just, I guess it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's in their face, you know, like it's, see, but before we get our, I'm, I'm going I'm to get to my lab, my thoughts on that in a second. But I mean, what did you think of the ingenuity of the actual horse? Did you think it was cool? No, that's cool. That was cool, right? That's so cool. that clip we showed you guys, this, and then um, this next clip was gonna, was gonna actually going to show you guys what, what Furious was talking about, kind of uh, in depth more, right? Of like the horse and what it represents, right? right? So we'll show it to you guys right now, and then we'll continue the rest of our thoughts. So we're back, and yeah, that's basically what what Furious was saying. Like, what what is what is the context? But now that we saw it again with right. them, did you see how they were saying like the nations are going to be following the horse? That was happening. Like, and go figure, the Olympics has each nation and their athletes, right? So they were there with their flags. So that was kind of a crazy image to see the nations following the horse. That's directly from the Bible too, though. But, but the thing about it, bro, that's been. Olympics been going on for I know, but they never had time. that image though. It didn't have that image, but bro, it's been like that. Or that 
I know. It did fall I know, but I guess I guess because it wasn't on display <laughs> on, on a global scale. I know bro, what you're saying, though. Because, bro, if that's the case, bro, we're fucking late, bro. I know. Like, oh shit! What? That's been that? like that, so. that's been the Bible for how many years? Like two thousand plus years. Bro, man. I know what you're saying. I get it. Because, like, but I, but I think because I think to make a display like that though is back then was way out of pocket. Like okay. nowadays, it's more acceptable okay. to do shit like that. Yes, but okay. So, you know what okay, I mean? This is when people should start getting alarmed, okay? When you see the fucking president doing the fucking, what's it called? Baphomet sign, okay? That's what Yeah, you that's true. I agree. You know? And, and who, you who looks like he might be the new president again. If he might, Trump might come back in office. Oh, yeah. They asked him what he thought about the Olympics. And right. Actually, I'll show you guys that here right now. I thought that the opening ceremony was a disgrace, actually. I thought it was a disgrace. The mocking of the Last Supper. I thought it was um, Catholics and Christians across, I thought across it was the globe are outraged. I mean, they can do certain things. I thought it was uh, terrible. Can but, you say at the next Olympics, if you're present, there won't be, you'll have enough uh, influence on the organizers that we won't be, you know, insulting Christians. We won't be having a Last Supper as portrayed the way they portrayed it the other night. I just think, look, I'm for everybody. I'm very open-minded. You understand. Yeah. You know me. Yeah. Better than most people know yeah. me. I'm very open-minded, but I thought what they did was a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it. we're back. We're back. You yeah. So, what you, you, <laughs> so that's what Trump that, had to say about it. That's the one time it. that you seen him with the fucking filter, bro. Yeah, that's what Trump had to say about <laughs> it. Like, uh, I'm for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Once you hear no, that, but, you already know. <laughs> hey, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. But we, see we don't get too political on this show, but I just wanted to put that in there because I just thought it was, you know, for the sake of the topic, right? That was his. Those were Trump's thoughts on it. Yeah. So he's not doing a baphomet side up. I used, I only merely saying? showed you that because he said that's when you should worry because the way the Bible describes it yeah. is that when he does rise, right, when when the Antichrist yeah. does fall into power, mm -hmm. he's going to have a position of power yeah. like that. You should worry. That's when you should worry. I agree. You should worry, like when he steps in the camera frame and, and 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 you look at his legs and his trousers. If they bend backwards. Then you should be worried. Okay? And they bend back. <laughs> My boy said, if he has a hoop, if he's got hoop on his feet, he's, he's, he's a fucking walking around like you know a, a nephilim or whatever the shit they call that's those things. That's when you should be worried, man. Yeah, that's when you should be worried. That's when you. That's when you got a you got a straight lock and load, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, like Trump said, you know, it was egregious. You know, like, but it's not. They they let that shit air, bro. It did. You know, I'm pretty sure that I mean, they fucking like rehearsed it. They no, they did. You they know, had to. So, this that wasn't a one. Right. Our guys first take. But hopefully, we discussed we discussed it on paper. But, you guys know what we're gonna do now. But think about that it too. Not bro. How that went down. Remember, bro. But see, they should have did their homework, bro. Remember, Bud Light tried it, <laughs> and their fucking business man, that shit tank. I forgot bro. what they did though. What did Bud Light do again? Remember, they promoted the the um the uh, converted or the uh, transitioned. Individual. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. And their sales plummeted by like what, like like thirty percent? If you were boycotting the shit out of them, thirty percent, bro. Damn. So y'all definitely felt you know that saying? in your profit margin. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying so. The, so damn, they, they won't do that again. No oh, hell no. <laughs> Nothing got right brain in their mind. They you won't do that mean? stupid shit. So, but the thing is, bro, they they thought it was going to be a good idea. They thought it would bring people together. They believed, you know. So I think maybe maybe with the Olympics, they probably thought thought you know thought the same thing. But the thing is, that shit always fails. Yeah, like it always does, bro. Even the whole, the only thing that doesn't fail in that uh, area, I think, is the is the pride parade. You know what I'm saying? That's because that's like you know what I'm saying. It's, it doesn't really involve. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, everybody. No. You know what I'm saying? I'm that, that's sure true. That's people true. from from all orientations go. But I'm saying is like it's something. That's something that's just for that for that for, for that group you particular know? group. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, that's true. Because you got a like, good point. When it comes to this stuff, it involves the whole world and stuff like that. Now you're, you know, what I'm saying there's definitely. Someone's gonna someone's gonna get offended. <laughs> yeah, that's just how someone's it is. Gonna now. Get offended, that's just unfortunately how it is. You're right. That's if, just the way it goes. Especially now. if you're given if they're gonna express it in the way that you really want to, yeah. someone's gonna get offended. Oh, that's true. You know, even Dang, with, that's a good point. Even I'm pretty sure even the way with the way that I broke down certain things in this, I probably offended someone too. Like, oh like You probably did. Do you believe or not? <laughs> <laughs> No, you probably did, bro. But that's okay. You know, that's all right. Yeah. We ruffle feathers on timeless talk. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's kidding. Nah, bro. That, that's it. That's hey, man. We got it. We got to. We got to give them the unapologetic truth, bro. Yeah. You know, see, at least our um, our our unapologetic truth, right? Mm -hmm. No, nah, for sure. So, but like you said, the way we, we break these things down, I'm like, well, I don't agree with his viewpoint. Okay, you don't have to, but we're gonna discuss it. That's the point of the, today's topic, right? right. So. 
going forward, that that happened, right? So the horse, we just showed it to you guys. We showed some 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 backstory on it and what how it how it was interpreted, right? By by a, by a vast more, vaster majority, I should say, other than us. Furious interpreted it a little. Well, you're not denying it. You're kind of just saying that it's always been there, right? And even, yeah, even, bro, even if it does bro, mean that, bro, it's not as crazy and outlandish as bro Sodom and Gomorrah, Rome. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Those were good. <laughs> he said son of a Gaborah, Rome. That's a good one. <laughs> he got some fuck this shit. I'm about like to that. burn these motherfuckers down. It's been like that, man. It, yeah, no, it has. It bro, has. bro, eunuchs and all that kind of stuff. Bro, that shit's, it's <laughs> fucking been, eunuch. It's been like that, man. It's just, oh. It just hasn't been broadcasted, bro. Now it's just it's just it's being expressed. Now it's now. just now it's just it's in, always in, been in the limelight. It's just yeah. being expressed now, and people just don't know how to react right yeah. now. And I get it. Now like, I'm not saying it's okay. It's just it's good to be aware, though. Yeah, but like, but like, you know bro, what I mean? even with this whole four horsemen thing, right, yeah. bro? Have you ever heard of Anton Lavey? Lavey, he sounds was a, familiar. He was, a, he was the the head of the Church of Satan or whatever, right? Uh-huh. That bro, that was an actual group. That is a group. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Where's the offense? You know what I mean? Uh, like, <laughs> that that is a group. You're right, no you know doubt, man. Um, but because <laughs> you're right, no, you're not wrong about that. That's, that, that's a group. Um, and he's a fame. He's he was the one that he's a leader in that shit, right? Yeah. But they. Uh, but the thing about that though, that's not on national television. That's not broadcasting Bro, across the wavelengths of the world. Still, you know what I mean? Was, it doesn't. It was still there. It's still there. That's I'm, true. I'm saying it's still there, bro. That's like, true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just just because it's out of you doesn't mean it's not yeah. a problem. No, that's true. Not. That you know <laughs> it doesn't mean? mean it's not a problem. You that's true. Saying? Because the thing is, bro, that's there's, there's so many outrageous things that happen, bro. That is not the worst. No, it's not. not. Don't get me wrong. Is it is it egregious and, and it, is it offensive to some? Yeah. Yes, but it's not the worst of. That's not the worst offense of of, of offenses. That's to, true. To especially to fucking Christianity, bro. There's deeper ones within the fucking religion. Within, yeah, within the deeper offenses, bro. That's true. No, you're not wrong. That probably still haven't gotten gotten like resolved. That's true. See, my bad tangent. You know. No, <laughs> no, nah, bro. Come on, no. We, we do that all the time on this yeah. show. It's all good. Yeah. At least your tangent made sense. Right. It, it correlates. You know what I mean? So no, but to to go off what you're saying though, to continue with this, more symbolism followed mm-hmm. up next, right? Yeah. So on the stage, I don't know if you saw this. We'll we'll, we'll show it to you guys right now. Um, let me, matter of fact, let's show it to them and then we'll, we'll go over it right now. Kind of like going off what you just said right now, right? About the, about the whole thing being like, you know, funny, like as if this man knows. Right. Right. And the chancellor just brings us joy, <laughs> like we just said. Like, unless you were there in a hood sitting next to them. You know what I mean? Watching, overlooking this shit. Like you said, how would you know? Right. You wouldn't you know. know. I mean? Because unless thing, you're a part of it, like. yeah. Because 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 the thing is too, it's like like I just said. Okay, M. Night Shyamalan, right? The studios that hire him, yeah. right? Columbia, yeah. whatever. Who the fuck hires him, bro? Yeah. They're like, I hope he makes a good movie. <laughs> That's what they're fucking saying, bro. They're like this. I hope he makes a good movie. We're, we're funding that, him. We're giving him the funds. <laughs> I know that he works well. You know, what I'm saying like when he's left alone and he just, you know, what I'm saying allowed to create. But sometimes, you know, I know, you know, what I'm saying we, he has, he has a fucking track record. Okay, he might be too alone. And he might be smoking too many doobies. You, you feel me? Where they just, <laughs> he has too many yes men around him, bro. He has yeah, too many, you know, too many people who are who, oh, think, who think phenomenal like him. script. Know. You know, what yes, I'm saying? and just because, like, bro, he he's he's very polarizing. You know, so yeah, no, so, he is. so like, bro, people. Just want to be next to him, probably. You know what I'm oh, Which, like, as I'm sure, you know, you know other, other directors as well, like, like you know, oh, Steven Spielberg. I study him, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and, and Tarantino, guys like that that are polarizing too, you know? You know but they want it, and they're yes men. They're, they they yeah. fucking, they can do no wrong. Bullshit. Yeah. They probably write shit too. Yeah. I'm sure they've written stuff. They're like, they wrote, they read it yeah. again, like, hey, bro, let's, yeah. <laughs> let's not make this movie, bro. See, <laughs> Let me rewrite something else. <laughs> this is ass, bro. The, the main, <laughs> you know? the main, the main, the main culprit in this is the one who said yes at the pitch meeting, okay? That's the one. What? <laughs> you talking about the ceremony? No, yeah. Yeah. The one you're right. at that pitch meeting, whoever was like, yeah. That's yeah, like, the one you want. This is great. This is the, this is the creative direction this we need to be go. The best. But the they best they one. spoke to the creative director yeah. and he actually and they and he apologized. Actually, he didn't apologize. He was the one that didn't apologize. Yeah, he, he did. He That's did right. Too late. But then the Olympics did apologize. Yeah. They did because they were getting canceled. They were like, quote unquote, going to get canceled. Yeah. But, I mean, it's only a week long. By the time this this episode airs, 
Uh, the episodes will be over already. Yeah, It'll but, be over, but but you see, like they they have no control over what he does. Obviously, he he can't do anything racist or anything like that, right? No. He can't do anything where he's he where it involves like children and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there are rules, but it's like they have creative freedom. Yeah. It's like with M Night Shyamalan. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you might you might get a hit. But yeah. Hey, chances are. Dude, just, <laughs> the good chances you, are you might get some fucking crazy shit too yeah. that you're not expecting. You know, so yeah. I, I think that's part of what happened. Now, am, am, does that mean that it's not sinister or that the creative director has no like sinister intent? No, but at the same time, what to what extent? What's it gonna do? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna oh, do much. I put really. the symbolism out there. Oh, damage! Who are you fucking damaging, bro? Yeah, <laughs> no, nobody you know? really. And and that's why off that video, that that's why I was like, I'm saying like, because that guy's making it seem like he knows how they think. You don't. You know what I'm saying? That's they, true. They fucking executed. An He's idea. definitely making it seem like he does. You know what I'm saying? They executed, yeah. bro. The fucking shit bombed. It, it did. Case closed. And it bombed pretty bad to the yeah. point where they. Because if you feel like the whole review staff and people that approved this whole ceremony had to apologize mm-hmm. on a panel like that, because they sat down. They had there's a, there's right. a panel, bro. <laughs> they fucking sat down like, and they're you know, like, oh shit, we're thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> We really got to address this shit. Right. So about last night, we know you guys all fucking hated that shit. Sorry. Uh, right. Next time, we'll make sure that we we we, uh, right. we review this again a little They're deeper like, before we say yes. He's all like, why'd you paint him blue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what the fuck does that mean? Why is this man blue? Why was he gyrating like that on the fucking runway? Fuck. <laughs> anyway, it's, yeah. cre- it's creative expression, bro. That's what they called it. That's yeah. why he was doing that. That's the thing. And bro, and, and like... <laughs> The fact that you know, okay, you you said it was France, right? Yeah, the right. French. Isn't France like the most like the most like stylistic like European country. Yeah, I think it's so. Like, like the best, well, not the best food, but like one of the best like like cuisines, their language. Their so I've heard women yeah. and all the kind of stuff. Women, yeah, the, the cuisine, the 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 artistry, and I yeah, think also the, like the language. Yeah, yeah. So and they they take their pride in that, and even I think even in food. Yeah, you said cuisine already. Yeah, yeah. food too. So. There's just there's a culture there. I ain't gonna lie. I want to visit. Yeah. It looks it's it looks cool. Culture, yeah. I definitely want to be around that environment and see what it's like for myself. Yeah. But then I see this and I'm like, I'm just kidding. because <laughs> another, you know, it's just like oh shit. So one thing that I thought about when I when I, when I saw that, yeah. uh, you ever you ever watched um what's it called Incredibles? Yeah. Remember fucking Edna Mode? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know Isn't. Milan in France? Milan's in France, right? Oh, and it's Milan, darling. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's all yeah. about style, you know what no I'm saying? No capes. <laughs> She's all about style, bro. Yo, you that's know? where she went, bro. Yeah. I think it is in France. Like, I could be it? wrong. I don't know. You know no. Our geography. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, fuck it. Well, well, fuck I'm it, bro. I'm France. I'm guessing France or Italy. Uh, we're off with our geography right now. <laughs> Europe. <laughs> Europe. We're going to somewhere in fucking Europe. Yes, Euro trip, bro. Um... But yeah, no, I, I think that's a funny ass reference. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> but why do you think the bull was on stage, though? Well, that's what we need to address the here. The bull, because who, that, there was the a golden knows? calf, and the Bible does talk about a golden calf, right? Who knows, bro? These fuckers would worship it. That's so, a, isn't there like a bull on fucking like Wall Street that has his balls out or some shit? That fucking <laughs> yeah. bronze bull. Oh like, yeah, why, dude. why is that the, there? there is, <laughs> It's nuts out too. Like, who the fuck designed that thing? <laughs> You're right. It's just like grab the bull by the horns. <laughs> His balls are swinging. You know? He's running. I don't know what that was for either, man. It's Be- like what the fuck, because, bro, bro. Thing? Across cultures, bro, bulls have different different <sighs> meanings, bro. Some some bulls they mean strength. Some, you know what I'm saying this have yeah. different meaning, bro. This, the symbolism behind that. Sim- well, because you said like he's like the evil doers and their symbolism. You're you like know? you're like everybody uses it. <laughs> everybody. We have symbolism bro. too. I mean, look at this painting bro, behind me. Cross, you know? bro. If you wear a cross, it's symbolism, bro. Yeah. The fact that it's not upside down doesn't mean that you're not evil. Mm. You know. What because saying? you know what? You know what's crazy interesting about what you just said right now. Mm. Let's get more. I don't want to cut you off. No, go on. Okay, I'm gonna add something to that real quick. It's funny you say that about the cross because. As you guys remember, last episode, actually, I had a rosary. I was wearing a rosary, right? The reason why I wear it, it reminds me of the sacrifice that Christ made for us, right? That's why I wear it, right? That's my reasoning for it. So there's no fucking read between the lines shit. If you notice, the one I wore was blank because he's no longer on it. He's alive. You know what I'm saying? He rose rose again from the dead, right? He's no longer crucified. That's why I don't like the ones where they have the cross with him still on it. The body, yeah. His body, no. I like the ones that are blank, like the one I was wearing. Because right. it's also, you know, it's supposed to, it's supposed to serve, right. serve as a reminder for what he did for us, right? You know, right. for humanity. But for other people, this is going to get a little dark. It also represents the killing tool or the mechanism that was used to crucify him. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So one could look at it as, oh, yeah, I, I, this is a killing tool. 
this is what we used to kill them. This is what we murked them with. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Some crazy shit like that. Someone could wear a cross for that reason. It's like you said, yeah. just because it's not upside down, that's more deliberate. Like right. you're going to fucking know this is right. me mocking it now at this yeah. point, right? But just like you said, that's a good point for yours. If it's right side up and it's blank, that can mean he's just, this person wears it because it reminds them of right. the killing tool that was used in those days to crucify right. people. Not just Christ, but yeah. Yeah, a lot of people got crucified like that, you know? Yeah. And him included. See, right? That's a dark way to look at it. And mm-hmm. someone might wear it for that reason. Oh, this is, I like this because this is what they use to kill Christ. This is what they use. And which is true. The cross was a killing tool. You know, you get the point. Mm-hmm. I digress. But it's like that's, it's all up for interpretation unless you speak to the person and you get a direct answer. Right. Like I just gave you guys right now. For mine, you know, that's what I wear it for. I'm not yeah. wearing it for because you know who brought that up. Shout out to Arm Shark, he's actually the one that put that who told me that. I was like, fuck, that's a crazy way to look at it. He even said, He's like, that's why he said he he was a little uncomfortable wearing a cross because he felt like he knows why he wore it for the same reason as me. Like, he wore it because you know, it was a remembrance, mm-hmm. it was a reminder, it's supposed to serve as a reminder. He's like, but damn, there's a flip side of this coin. Like, why are we really going to parade wearing the thing they those fucking used to kill him? Like you're going to parade parade that around your neck? I was like, but, that's an interesting but, way to look at it. Like, damn, is, that's his. You know, that's his interpretation of that. But, but like I said, someone could walk around with that malicious intent, though. You know what I mean? Like that was their that's their malicious reason for wearing it. Like, well, I, I like yeah. it. I like to remember how they killed him. Like, you know, yeah. Oh fuck, like you know what I mean? But yeah, that right. might be someone's. You know, he's yeah. just offering a perspective. Like you said, yeah. that's probably his understanding. Like you said, that might be a possibility. Right. But that's like his perspective on what mm-hmm. someone could view that as you know just wanted to yeah. use that example yeah right so that's crazy how it could be flipped like that so quickly man it's all about perspective i'm learning life a lot of times is it's, how you, it's it. how you look at things right it's perspective really this is also a perspective situation this ceremony bro like it's all about how you perceive it yep. how it's looked at how you receive it how you receive you know what i'm saying like what it makes you feel like how did how are you going to go about it now people are outraged i understand why i understand why everything happened yeah. the way it did i get all that i'm sure you do too right yeah. But at the same time, one thing that Furious said that I 100% agree with, it's not you guys doing it. So those of our fans that are watching this and listening to this right now, right? My message to you guys is don't take it so personal because you weren't the ones doing it, right? You're not the ones that got to give an account to God. Everybody has to give an account. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like, you're not the ones that are going to have to give this part of your account, right? You weren't on stage doing it. But I understand why you're bothered by it. You shouldn't have to see it. That's true. But you also chose to watch the Olympics. So if you happen to see it, right, yeah. that's not their fault. You decided to watch it. And the second you're uncomfortable, that's the beauty of the remote control. Yeah. Turn that but, shit off or change the channel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, But, th- but this is why, it, like. Just okay, choose like, not to see it. But but see, th- this is this is the thing between, because th- it, it opens up a, a broader conversation, too. It's like, okay, it does. censorship or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Freedom of speech or not. Because it does, like, if you, you want to get technical, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That is a that is a, a, along those lines. Right? It is. They're, it's so their right. Like, it's so their like creative the, freedom. Is what the director was arguing. You know, and I, I think yeah. sometimes it's better to let people make a fool of themselves, so you know, you know exactly that like part. What, who what you're dealing doing. with. Because Yo. like when you have all these like restrictions, that's when you got. I think that's when you get more like the the more like um, covert. Yeah, you know what I'm saying things that that's happen, true. and then you get the real symbolism because oh, like we're not allowed to express it. So let me just put something in Damn. there to, 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 to make you think. You know what I'm saying? Like now. Yeah, I just think, bro, if someone wants to use a fucking a bad reference, bro, and, or, or you know what I'm saying? They're going to do it. Lesson, go ahead, bro. Like, do it. You're the one who's 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 misusing it. Facts. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, just because you're showing me, it's like, bro, like, you're the one doing it. That's true. Because you exactly. It goes back to our, our original yeah. point. Well, your original point. I'm just going to piggyback off of it. Because you're right. You, <laughs> people are getting so offended. And it's like, because when we first originally initially talked about it, again, not to sound redundant over it again my initial take was i was more so focused on how everybody else was receiving it you know i remember how i was telling yeah. you i was like man but it looks like this bro and it's this way and it's that and furious heard me out and he's like no you're right that is what it looks like that's what people are claiming they're seeing that's how they're seeing it i mean it is what you say egregious yeah it is egregious yeah. come on we're not stupid we know what they're trying to mock here right right but then you're like bottom line is whether they're doing it or not in which clearly they are we're not doing it yeah. they are why? Why let it affect you so much? Yep. So true. I was like, damn, that's that's gonna. You can't really argue that, bro. I mean, if you watching and listening, if you can argue that, go ahead. We'd love to hear yeah. you do it because I don't. I I'm not gonna sit here and pretend yeah. like no. Well, that's not true because no, it's fucking true, bro. There's yep. nothing really to disagree with there. You know what I mean? Or or, or d- debate you on. Yep. Here's where where I think like where people should get outraged. Where mm. we should get outraged. So. 
especially as like as parents, you know, and as as like fellow uh, human beings is when they start to try to put an agenda through like children's shows mm, and like schools and like try to put it in in the government, like or you know what I'm saying, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, where, no, I agree. Where it like it like usurps your your uh, control, you know. Um, Facts. You know what I'm saying, and and, and it kind of raise though. your kids. You know what I'm saying. So that yeah. that's what people should be outraged at. That shit. bro, I agree. And it's funny you mentioned that because yeah. not funny, but it's a, it's a, it's a pretty yeah. interesting coincidence that you bring that up because as this all ties into this topic, right? Because it's all influenced in some way, to some degree, to to, to a certain degree, right? Yeah. There now, I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know, if Furious. You don't know if you know this, but now they're telling us now that in schools. Oh yeah, the whole fucking. Gavin Did you hear about that shit? I hate that shit, bro. Like that. Are we talking about the same thing though? Yeah, you heard about that, right? Yeah, where he's trying to get it into into to like a bill or some shit, right? To I like, think so. To like 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 where they don't have to tell you anything. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. See, that's the same. That, bro, isn't that some bullshit? That is some bullshit. I'm about bro. to put my kids in private school, bro. Fuck that shit, man. I'll pay the extra money, whatever. Yeah. Fuck public school if that's the case, yeah. right? Because I mean, come on, dude. You mean to tell that's me a, that's like I a can Pandora's send Pandora's box, bro? You're gonna have, fa- some- bro. We're, we're gonna address on, this bro. shit right now because you're right. Fuck that shit. We're gonna say it right here on this show right now for y'all to hear and see. We're not, we're not, and we're not advocating or so in, in any type of support of that bullshit. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah. Curious. Fuck all that. They're, they're, they mean to tell us for those that haven't been living under a rock and haven't heard about this Gavin Newsom bullshit that he's trying to pull. Yeah, they're trying true. to say that they want our children that if they go to school, right? They're trying to make it so that if they go to school. And they decide that they want to change their gender or be called by a different name. Say you have a son, a boy or a girl, right? Say you have a boy. And he wants to go by the name Martha now instead of his name that you gave him. There, the school's actually going to encourage that and not tell the parent that he's doing that That's at school. You tell me how the fuck that makes sense. You're giving a, a minor some rights now? They're not even old enough. Right. Last time I checked, bro, you can't even wipe your own ass or buy your own clothes at that age, bro. You mean to tell me I'll you want to, you want to, you want to, I'm a girl right. now. Like, I want to be, and I'm going to go buy this. Fuck. I agree with Furious. At that point, yeah. you're fucking either homeschooling or, like I said, yeah. private school. And it's fucked up. But to make that a, fuck that bullshit, a law, bro. dude. Fuck out of here. He's making a bill, right? I didn't know about the bill part. Tr- or, or a law, whatever. But That's I, insane, I know he was, bro. Uh, he was trying to, or he's trying to get that in motion. But it's like, bro, like, it's going to make, if that shit passes, this shit better not pass, bro. It better not. It better not, bro. I'll- shit, man. I, I don't know. That's look, man. I don't want to step because I know that we're never getting reading into a territory where I know people like cancel culture and shit. Yeah. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend and you know. T- t- no, I'm not gonna walk the line. Children, no. Thank you. I'm not gonna walk the line on this. Thank you, Furious. You understand? Nah, I'm that. not gonna walk the line on this. I'm sorry. I don't agree with that shit, guys. Look, if you want to go have a sex change, you do that shit as an adult, yeah. right? Really? Period. So you want to go do that weird shit? You want to see, you want to change what God made you into into something else? That's up to you to do as a motherfucking adult, not as a child. I don't yeah. want no grown ass man or woman encouraging my kid without my knowledge. Too. Without my knowledge, exactly. And that's so that teacher. when they're, they're gonna go back to that fucking classroom and then get encouraged by you while I'm telling them something different at home? Yeah. The fuck out of here, bro. That's the this is the Home country school. we live in now, man. Homeschool, man. Ugh. But see, sorry, I just put that out there, like, PA, but, bro. But you see, man. There's bigger uh, problems to worry about than you know, I agree. No, I agree. You know what I'm saying? I agree, so, but that's just that's something in particular yeah. that I wanted to you know talk about. That's that's starting to infiltrate to go with what you were saying. Yeah. Worry about it when it starts to infiltrate our our, our, our schools and our kids like that. You know Directly when they try to get children involved, boom, there you go. You know what I'm saying? That's the first sign of this shit. That's bro. the future, bro. You know, that's scary, man. That's enough yeah. to make anybody listening and watching this to second guess or you know? second think we're having children, bro, in this world now. Now you see, you now, know? now here, now, now see this, see now, now my sister. Working and shit right now. Go ahead, let's like, hear it. So Let it rap, bro. Now this is this is where I, I can you know, it might be sinister in this regard. Is like let's maybe maybe the Olympics was a distraction. Mm. It was. You know. Here we go. Really going on. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're getting into it now. <laughs> Woo! I love it. Yeah, take those shots, <laughs> bro. We're dropping shells today, nah? Because that's true. That's saying, fucking true, bro. Because I feel like it was. You know? What if? Who's to say it wasn't a distraction? You I know? agree. Who knows, it was. who knows what 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 bill passed on the on that night? You know, bro. <laughs> and let's be honest, like that's that's he. Who knows? They just slipped it on by. You know? and no one knew. No one. No one some even saw it happen. Some like crazy. And that bill. happened, right? You know? It broke. That shit happens. <laughs> they do that a lot. They like to get everybody. And I'm actually glad you said that because I did. That was actually in my bullet points to cover today. Was is it really far fetched to believe that it was a distraction? People. Governments have done it before in the past. Well, our government's yeah, yeah. done it plenty of times. 
for those that are paying attention, that are that are really looking at what's going on from more than one source of news, right? You'll know that there are things happening while other things are happening, right? That's just the way the world is. But they want you, like you said, to focus on this shit. And they knew maybe that was the whole reason for that ceremony to be that way. Right. Because they knew it was going to be make people like us and other outlets talk about it, right? Because it's what's hot right now. It's the topic to, to cover. Because what's the real the goal? controversy? I mean, like, think about it. What, what's the real goal of having that? It's almost like the way of like, let's let them let let bitch over this. Yeah. Uh, it was weird. You know, last, last, last supper, yeah. Yeah, that's right. We, did that, we did that. Offensive, great. Man in blue. Yeah. You're the man in blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's weird. <laughs> <laughs> gyrating on gyrating on gyrating on the stage. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? That's why I talk about it. While we go over here and do this. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what they want. Nah, that's I'll just smart. Dress it. That'd yeah. be smart. Like, Hell yeah. If I was a fucking like, you know, if I was if I was an evil warlord or Fuck evil, yeah. That would be the that would be a smart plan. Divide and conquer, man. Shit. Thank God we have freedom of speech to address this, bro. That's the vision though, right there. It is hell up. Bro. It's devices, but the thing is too, bro, they whoever let's just say it is, you know. That like sinister, you know? Yeah, bro. That's that's how it happens with everything, bro. Like, that's true. They're not even hiding it now. They got us just in bro, their face. They're already fucking ten, ten steps ahead, bro. And we're and exactly, and we're at the point. <laughs> they are ten steps fucking ahead, and not just that, bro. <laughs> we're at the day and age now, the point where it's not even being hidden no more, man. It's right in plain sight. They you ever heard you ever heard that phrase, hiding in plain sight? Yeah, that's the, what that is. But the world's too big now, bro. And and it's, it's almost so like much. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like now, it, it, no, you're not wrong. But it's like at the point now too, where we we're, we're, we we know we we can't hide this no more. You guys know about it, so here you go. There's more of it right here for you. Symbolism, yeah. and like I said again, back to what we're saying not to not again. Not I digress, but just do this while we go over here and pass this yeah. to kind of get us towards that future that we want so bad. Because there's more. Covert. Y'all not paying attention yeah. to it, but it's more covert. Yeah, there's more covert operations yeah. going on that they don't want you to know about. Yeah. They're like, well, the cat's out of the bag with the Illuminati and all that satanic shit, so. Embrace it. Here's some more of it. Uh, yeah, honestly, you know what I mean? While we go do this over here, because like you said, covert yeah. things are still going on. That's and uh I think, yeah, man, little <clears> shit <throat> like this, bro, like, bro, no one died, nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, even in those events where people do perish, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, I think those are more like, you know, chance events, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they yeah. do have a sinister, you know, uh, you know, an ultimate like sinister motive, but like something like this, bro. I mean, where does the symbolism lead? Like, okay, apocalypse, ooh, revelation, okay. <laughs> now what? Yeah. What you know what I'm saying? Like now, okay, now now we 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 know what 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 the symbolism is or what the symbolism is, but now why the symbolism? You know what I'm saying? You just yeah. go down a rabbit hole, bro. You're never gonna reach the end, you know. You're what I'm not saying? because it's like, okay, You're so not. it's let's just say let's say that they had Jesus on an upside down cross hanging. Yeah. Right. That that of course that would be like, what the fuck, right? But but Holy shit! But, that would break the fucking internet, but bro. What would it? What would it mean though? Uh, like towards what goal? Just well, just, fuck, 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 they, fuck your belief they, in Christianity, basically. Okay, so someone says fuck your Some belief, so you're mad. Yeah, well, I mean, you know what it'd be? I think the outrage would wouldn't come from just that. I think it would more so come from them allowing that shit to even be a thing. Of course, you see what but, I'm saying? Like, I'm who saying, the fuck allowed but, but this I'm shit? Saying, if it happened, mad right? disrespect, you know? But if that's it the happened, outrage. What's the person's end goal with it? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? To offend, to piss people off, to ruffle feathers. Okay, which yeah. they're gonna do successfully. If they do what? that kind of shit. So that's what <laughs> I'm saying. It's it's people more, are invested, it's, man. Sometimes it's better it's a distraction, be. though. That's, I see that's what you're what I'm saying. saying it's more oh, okay. Because the thing is, bro, when it comes to like abstract things, religions, like, bro, you really unless this unless they're gonna like bomb something or attack. Yeah. Okay, like this is a this is a <laughs> this is a um, symbolism <laughs> for us. Really, literally destroying the world, right? Yeah, totally different, bro. Totally different, but like Damn, this, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The way that yeah, like, nah, that's true. It just makes you. It makes us think, bro. We're we're fucking talking about it. Yeah, you know what I mean. So we're giving it that attention too. We're well, I mean, we're partaking in it. I guess yeah. it gives views. Because now, I mean, <laughs> I mean, honestly, honestly, I mean, maybe shit. That shit probably made some some people open up the, the, the peaking Bible. You know, it did. And you know what? You're right. And so there could be some good you know? that came out of it. No, yeah, like, that's a good way to look at it too. There's so many different ways and dynamics and perspectives. Again, you know? it's about how you look at things, right? Back to perspective, Bro. the point we the point we made earlier, and, perspective, and, and, and not only that, okay, and that could be some good that came out of. It. I like that. Yeah. Someone might have picked the Bible up and actually became a believer because of this shit. And not only that, bro, Red, Revel- Red Revelation, we're like, oh fuck, yeah, you know what I mean, like. But not only that, sorry, but, but the thing is, man, if, you, if you're gonna read uh, Revelation, you got to read Genesis, right? But the absolutely, time, I haven't, I haven't read the whole Bible, not even close to it, right? But That's I'm a lot, also man. asking, like, the people who were offended, have they read it? 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or have they just gone and listened to what they heard in church and not really you know look I mean? for themselves? Good man, thing. I agree with Furious, bro. You, pff, my boy, cooking today, man. Hell yeah, bro. I, man, as a matter of fact, bro, it's a broad uh, conversation, man. It's a good conversation, though, bro. <laughs> Eat me flowers, brother. Why you just still smell them? This shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's how we do it, man. <laughs> boy, cooking today, man. Nah, because it's it's a good perspective to put, bro. Because it's like, yo. You really claim to be this. You're offended, right? Do you read the word of God? Do you live in it? Are you living that? Is, is that your truth? Are you really indulging? The, oh, my boy. Okay, I'll give it to you. That's a good, because it's true. He without and a lot sin of them, should cast the first stone. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey, man. Jesus, yeah. Jesus, bro. Jesus would fucking cook, bro. Facts. And he's like, yeah. he's like, and if you, he's like, and if you did, and if you did sin, all of you did sin. Congratulations. Yep. You played yourself. Facts, right? Because yep. you did at that point. That's what Jesus was telling you. Yep. He even said it. He without sin, throw the first stone. Because, All you motherfuckers sin, because the man. Thing, okay, because you know, man, let's go a little deeper, okay? Okay, let's do it. Because, bro, the soft white underbelly of the world, bro. Yes, bro, it's crazy. It is. We know, bro. Yeah, okay? we do. There's a, there's a literal yes, black market, bro. There's, <laughs> there's a literal black market <laughs> and when it comes is. to like human yeah. interaction, social interaction, bro. There's a bro, and most. I'm not, I'm not gonna say most, but a lot of people participate in that shit, okay? Yeah. And amongst those people, there are people who are of amongst various faiths and beliefs. You know what I'm saying? So facts. That's the, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it just opens up the, it opens up the discussion. You know what I mean? It does. It does, it does open the discussion. And it comes right. full circle. It, it does. You know what it I mean? It does. You're not <laughs> wrong. And it opens it up and it, 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 bro, fuck. I couldn't say it any better than that. It's true. That's true. That's what that is, bro. Sorry about that, y'all. But I'm um, not, nah, man. That's, man, this shit got, it went, it went to a good place though. Yeah. Um, But to wrap up the ceremony, you know, to continue on to the, to the later parts of it. I believe it. The last thing I want to talk about was that the cow, the calf, and all that. It's, do you I mean, think uh, ultimately to, to to circle back to that? Right. I think it's. Do I, what I do think you, it's Moloch? No, but maybe in this because they're claiming in that video we just showed them Moloch, right? But, but how can but you? Because he's up there, bro. Like he was. A, <laughs> because cause look, every, he knows every culture, that motherfucker knows something. Every culture has a different view about the bull, bro. Every culture has <laughs> that a different, motherfucker knows different something. View. Yeah, yeah, just every culture has a different. Um, oh yeah, interpretation of the of the calf or bull in this like, case. Like I know uh, from what I've heard in like let's say Indian culture, I think the bull is very like re- revered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, it, but it's more out of like respect. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Every culture has See, a again view. perspective, right? Different and this this guy is saying it like you said. He's just very like he knows. He knows that no fuck it's perspective. Moloch and it's like this Moloch for sure. I mean, it's, it's it's it when you look at it that way. It, it, you know what? It might be. And if it is, then you, hey, bro, good job. You yeah. called it out. But like you said, or it could genuinely be like, they could be like, that's not why we put a right. fucking bull. You know what I mean? I mean they could easily, re- right. they could respond that way. Like, yeah. yo, which, that's not why we put that on yeah. the stage. But, but you fuckers are really picking this shit apart. We, mm-hmm. Hey, man, that is pretty dark, but that is sure not why we did that. You know what, you what, know what I mean? Like, And they might have a reason. There was two of them up there. Yeah. I remember seeing that in a little clip. There was two of them. So who knows, man? Like, it could be. We're not saying it wasn't. We're not we're not agreeing with it or disagreeing with it. It could have been like you said in another culture. They or they knew that in other yeah. other countries they didn't see it that way. And at the end, very the end, revered. They don't they don't necessarily pray to it. That's why I feel like you lose it, right? Right. That's where it gets dark. That's where it gets weird. You're praying to this shit. That's different. Yeah. But but if it, of, but if it symbolizes something right that means a lot to you, like oh this represents yeah. knowledge and strength in our country. Awesome. Yeah. Do but, I pray to the motherfucker? Hell no. I don't pray to it, but I yeah. like what it represents. Yeah, but right. Yeah, but as long as you don't, as long as you're not praising it, that's yeah, where you. That's where it's a problem. But you're not gonna see that. You start seeing that. They, like if they did a ceremony and shit, they came out in cloaks, they lit up candles around it. Okay, come on. Yeah. What the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Yeah, but that's you're not praying this. to this bitch, yeah, all right? But like, you're sucking his golden bull bull but, ball sack, all right? Point, at but, that point, like, at that point, saying? if they're showing it like that, bro, we're already good. we're already done, bro. <laughs> if, they, if they have enough balls to fucking, yeah. to fucking actually show that, then it's like okay. Yeah. But even then, let's just say right. Let's just I mean, say that that's what they did, right? Yeah, there would be already, some but, Bohemian Grove shit, but, bro. But it wouldn't be. It still wouldn't. Uh, do you wouldn't reach the real like conclusion, man? No, I because, agree. no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. And and you wouldn't. Even then, you, there would still be some question marks around it. There would still be a lot of. Yeah. It would obviously cause the same type of reaction that the other rest of the stuff got. And at the end of the day, man, people do such shit. They do. That's, that's <laughs> it, bro. People do such shit. To be simply from put, a, from every to be direct as fuck. People just do, they do. They do such <laughs> ass shit. That's, that's true. We know in our line of work bro, right now. Currently, we see such so shit all the time. We hear about so much such shit, bro. All the time. The people try to explain the such shit away, and it's like, oh, man, that shit, that, even that shit sounds that sounds fucking such. Bro. 
You know what I'm saying? The fact that you're trying to you trying to make this shit like make sense. You exercise, bro. Yeah, that phrase make it make sense. You can't make certain things make sense, bro. For real, man. And that's just you know what I mean. Yeah, this is better off just not even did it. Hey, it's done, bro. Like just don't be say shit about it, bro. That was good. I can't even put that. That's true, bro. That's a hundred percent, man. Yo, that's crazy, man. Yeah, no, but you mean aside from that, man, I, I don't really. I don't think I really have much more to add to it, do you, than that? I mean, unless you do. Nah, I just, I just think, man, people are just, a, a, for some reason, this shit captivates people, like... To, to, to delve into it, right? Be, to really get to I the bottom of it. I mean... Or sometimes they want it to be there, and it's I, not there. I, 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 think, I think people, some people deep down, they want there to be, if they want there to be something, because, yeah. because if there is that, it points to, like, the the certainty of everything, you know. What I'm saying? So it's like, oh yeah. shit, like if this shit, because yeah. like let's say let's let's just say right that the that the veil was taken off, right? And we found out, bro, that of all the conspiracy theories, bro, like there is like maybe out of everything that's that's been happening, only like two percent were actually like conspiracies. Everything else was just random. You know, yeah. it would put things into more perspectives. Like, oh shit, like we we were fucking wrong. Like, yeah, no, <laughs> you know what I mean. But the fact that people don't know. Yeah. They're gonna formulate their own ideas. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, and no, that's where, and that's, like where that's where the whole debate comes from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so in a way, people want to see. They're like, no, I want it to. I want it to be true because this. If this is true, it makes this true. Yeah, like, and it gives them an arguable. You know, but but you can use that interchangeably. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I, I think no, I think sure. that's I think that that's part of it. Yeah, I think also part of it is just that people, I agree. that people just get hooked and they're just like, oh shit, like we're just going. You know? What I'm saying? Yeah. Like, is it true? You know what I'm saying? But I think for some people, <clears> for them. It's a confirmation. So, like, they're yeah. actually, so, so it's like when they're looking for, like, you know, Bohemian Grove and they're looking for all these different Bilderberg and all that shit, right? If they're able to get in and actually, like, get some shit and leave alive, you know, and be like, hey, guys, like, this shit is true, that shit points to, like, hey, everything. You know Fuck. what I'm saying? There's just more truth. Yeah. But no, fact, for sure. But, but like, if, if it shows, <clears throat> but, but the thing is, like, let's just say it comes out that the Bilderberg or the fucking Bohemian shit is just a big ass fucking, like, fucking, like, orgy. <laughs> it's not good. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's just people getting like lap dances and shit, bro. Like it's not good. It's like, oh. Bro. Did it... <laughs> What's it? What if it was just that? You know? That's why you can't go in there. It's That's hella it. private for a reason. That's You're going to see some shit you don't want to see, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, man. Like, bro, because I heard that. There was even like, it's funny you say that because the, with the whole Bohemian Grove, right? What did get out, I mean, someone did speak about it and it actually got verified. It is a it is it is a camp, right? That they do every July, I believe, and, and they do it in the redwoods, right? It is weird having a forty foot stone owl. I mean, the whole cremation of care ceremony; those are real things documented. Mm. Fucking weird, right? Why they filmed? That's the thing. That they, they did film them. That they, that they filmed and that they supposedly do every year, right? But they also get drunk. They do unspeakable, in uns, unspoken things that we don't even know what these activities are. It's a week long. So clearly there's shit going on more than just that one ceremony that happens on the first night. Right. Or yeah, so aside from that, what other maybe there is a fucking orgy. Oh, it's orgy Wednesday, guys. You ready? Get your leotards. <laughs> like, who the fuck is this? Like it might be that happening, right. you're right. So there <clears throat> there's a lot of weird shit going on. I mean, they, they would get drunk and piss in the lake. Mm -hmm. That's been that's been reported. And I think the only way to get in there is to have an invitation. An invitation got to be somebody or be someone big either big some be someone big and be one of their guests or be that person right you know what i'm saying so be as that's involved in political and the political be a political figure right, right. like i wouldn't doubt that trump and uh sleepy joe have all both been there you know? and did their fair share of god knows what in that fucking place bro yeah, they get an automatic invitation you know well, yeah, but, but i think know. i would want to go as a guest just to experience it. i'm not saying i would partake in it but just right. be able to document it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but then i'd probably get killed for it afterwards you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'll be I'll turn into a fucking martyr just right. for going there and just putting it out to the world. I know this is gonna get me killed, but you know what? I want the world to fucking know. Shit. Not for real, man. You know what I mean? So but we'll never know, man. We won't. Places like that are gonna remain yeah. a secret, bro. But it's like I've always thought like, damn, like what if this shit really isn't the way what people are I agree. Like, I like that. So, like, so yeah, not 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 to get off topic. Yeah. Your whole point is saying that was what if it really is some goofy it's, shit it, like just that? Some random shit. Just yeah, it's fucking weird, but it's not yeah. dark and demented like we all think it is. Yeah. It's just some sick fucking twisted bullshit that yeah is, like, a, is to, an extracurricular activity to them. Yeah, like right? okay, like I'm about to go off. I'm, I'm, I'm about to go off tangent again. <laughs> go ahead, okay, go ahead, so remember the fine. guy that made the fucking the fucking car that ran off water? Oh yeah. Like what if he wasn't poisoned? Like like what if he just died? Like what if it was just a freak accident? 
Yeah. Like, like see, every saying that oh, he Yo, got killed because he wanted something. But what if he just? What if he just? You know, <laughs> bro, just died because he slipped on a banana peel, broke his you neck, know, or some shit. Mean? I get what you're saying. You know what what if something stupid killed him? I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why did he have to? Oh, they got him. He disappeared because. You know? I think it's because, like you said, I think the world just craves that that eeriness. You know what I mean? That. Watch out. They like, wanted, you know, they, they wanted, that. They want it to make sense. Yeah. And they want it to make sense, and then it just makes sense for it to be dark and to go know, that route instead yeah. of because, something I more mean, light. Because I do think just because with human history, people in power or people who have fought for power, they've always used that, you know, taking you out to get, yeah. you know, ultimately to get their way. Facts. You know? But I think in this day and age, I think, man, if someone made, this is way off tangent, but like Quite, if, if someone made That's a cool. car able to Not run really off water, so. if they made a car able to run off water, like, bro, you would First, you'd have the Nobel Prize. You know what I'm saying? For sure, you wouldn't live. The, you, you would wouldn't have. Live you would have though. some. Some businesses would would definitely back you because because you're because yeah. you're going to upset the industry. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And and now that it's an option, see, and then and that's what thinks, and things. that's what usually leads to the corruption though, because they, and, and then see people think that you're going to get off now because I guess in the past people would. How do you get rid of them all? again? Okay, lawfully you can't. Mm. Fuck, we're just fucked. We have to sit on it and lose our money. Unlawfully, we could send someone to take this motherfucker out, and he's no longer a problem. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but and that's why people that go down that mind, that road, and the fact that 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 has happened in human history, it's but, not so far fetched to believe that someone would kill you, true, but, for doing or, something like or that. Or they can just, or they'll pay someone or, to do it, so they're just like, I have an alibi. No, what I mean they could do that, or they can just they can just you talk to the guy, get get the tech, or pay him know, off, get the tech, make it perfect. Perfect the tech, yeah. Have their own industry with it. Charge. They're still going to charge, or they'll try. They'll try to buy the tech from you. Right. Yeah. So it it can go either way. But I feel like I I feel like the only only, tech. See, but exactly. But the only issue with that is if the person, if there's a person doesn't doesn't want to give the, if he doesn't want to give the tech, then there's scope. Of course, then there's an issue. See, I'm saying. Well, okay. So you're not going to take our. You see that? Oh, you're not going to take our. You're not going to take our offers. You're going to give us. Oh, you're going to give us a finger too. Okay, motherfucker. Then they're gonna kill him. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. all right. So if we can't buy you, we're just gonna kill you then. But, 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 but the thing, but the because the, the thing about it is like, how is he gonna get this shit started? That's a good Bro, point. Just you're just gonna make an engine and then you're just gonna boom. You're gonna become a billionaire? No, no, nah, it doesn't investors. work that way. Yeah, they gotta investors. test it. They gotta invest it. They gotta. There's a whole process. You know things. I agree. Yeah, there's all, all kinds of shit. That's true. Doesn't that say that 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 didn't happen. But yeah, yeah. I, I digress heavily. <laughs> Heavily uh, digress. Nah, tangent. but you know what, man? That was no, nah, it was good though. I think. I mean, as far as the Olympics go, though, I don't yeah. know. I have anything else to add to it. Do you? I mean, we pretty much covered it really nah, thoroughly. I think. I think it's good. But ultimately, I think right now. What are your final thoughts on it? Yeah, before we get to our last tidbits. At here. worst, a distraction. Yeah, I agree. At best, just I agree. A, just a just a very poor display of <laughs> just a very poor execution of an idea. I agree. You know, that's probably and that, no, ulti- little, ultimately try is, to add some sprinkles to it, you know. That's but a hot it, take. It, it wasn't <laughs> hidden, you know. <laughs> no, I get, I get you, and it wasn't. And mm-hmm. they, they, they chose the wrong imagery to base it off of. Even if they want to say the Last Supper was was a, um, this might be stupid ass. This is probably a hot take too. It's but, a supper of community. Man. Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck. <laughs> no. Nah, see, that would be poorly <laughs> missed out too. Imagine the supper of community. No, get the fuck out of here. No, nah, but what I'm saying, like. <laughs> Is that way you know it, it? It um maybe in their mind they might just try to run with this bullshit excuse, which is the Last Supper was the inspiration. We weren't trying to mock it, right? It was just the inspiration for us to take that idea and make it our own. But unfortunately yeah. for them, but in reality, it looks more like a you know what I mean you're just making fun of instead of being inspired by it. You're making fun of it. You know what I mean? He with mocking it. So it's that like that should have had someone. Whoever was on his side or her side should have been like the one, like, saying, yeah, hey, you know what? The voice of reason in yeah. that sense. Yeah, for well, sure. You know what? That's not saying that there wasn't any voice of reason. He's probably like, hey, if you, if you say no, you're fired. <laughs> Imagine. Or, or what is it, bro? This is this is a bad idea. Someone right. probably told me, he's like, you know what? I don't think it is, motherfucker. I want right. to do it. Shit. Right. Or if like, you disagree <laughs> with me, you're fucking fired too. Like, oh shit, I got to pay. I got to eat. My family's got to eat. Right. This is a bad idea. He's like, you know what else is, is, is a bad idea? Arguing with your with your paycheck, you know? Right. Yeah. Imagine he's like, yeah, arguing with your paycheck. That's also a bad idea. That's going to be bad for your livelihood. And if your family, you want your family to eat tonight, like, fuck. Like, you know what? That's a great idea. Paint them blue, have them dancing. <laughs> Imagine like <laughs> that's a great idea. He started saying that all of a sudden, bro. Switch the whole tone. Hey, matter of fact, paint him blue. Throw some sparkles in that bitch too. Make it matter of fact. Hey, we're gonna paint his beard bright orange. Let's do that. That makes a lot of sense. Anyway, yeah, man. I, don't, I mean, I don't have anything else to add to it either. I mean, yeah. those are your final thoughts, right? I mean, I, I mine would be just you know what, man. 
uh, to, to, to go off what Furious said earlier, just know that if you're not the one doing the mocking, again, not saying that it's okay for it to exist, you're not the one doing it. So, therefore, they're going to pay their price for it. They have to give an account, as as do we, but your account doesn't necessarily – your account is not going to carry that. That's not going to be a part of your account because you saw it. You know what I'm saying? That that's. But I get it. You, you, you have the right to feel however you want to feel. If you want to feel offended, you have the right to feel that way. But you also have the right to turn it off. Yep. That's it, honestly. It's a very simple fix. You don't have to carry it with you. You certainly don't have to think about it. Watch more things about it. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't need to do that. That's the choice. Watch this video though, because we this is a pretty good breakdown. But even with other stuff, just ignore it. The newscasters that they're talking about it, Fox News, fucking K K K L I K K L nine, whatever, whoever. You don't have to watch that shit, man. Man. You know what I mean? So I that's all I gotta say about it, man. You know, it was an interesting Interesting, weird fucking ceremony. I, I definitely wanted to cover it for that reason. But yeah, guys. With that being said, we're on everything again. We're on. We're on, we're trying to build a, a a viewer a viewership and audience on Rumble. We're now on Rumble. Shout out to our YouTubers, our YouTuber YouTube audience. We appreciate you. Excuse me. Appreciate you guys. You've been there from the start. We're slowly growing. We're still gonna obviously you know focus on that as, as our bigger. At the moment, our bigger source of views is, is YouTube, but we also want to grow that following on, on uh, Rumble. So if, if those, those of you out there are, are biased, those of you that are listening, don't like YouTube for whatever reason, now you have another option to watch us. It's on Rumble. So check us out on Rumble if you guys get a chance. Uh, we'll have all the links in the description, as always. We have all the extensions there. Uh, shout out to all of our, our audio listeners. You guys are still championing. You guys are still winning the most. Uh, people more people more listen to us more than anything else, which I don't care. Like I tell Furious all the time. As long as people are listening to or watching us, that's we're getting it on both sides. So we're winning either way. More people listen to us, that's fine. That's the case. Hey, listen, hey, if you'd rather listen to us on your way to work, we're happy to spend your morning with you. You know what I'm saying? So we really appreciate y'all. Thank you guys for supporting us. Um, we have more announcements for things to come. I'm not gonna one thing I'm not gonna do anymore is I'm not gonna say we have this coming if it's not necessarily coming just yet. But we do have things in the works. Just know that. Uh we're working on some things, we gotta discuss some things, but we got some more content coming for you guys. And eventually, some products and some clothing. But, you know, that, that's in the future. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that later. But with that being said, guys, this has been Timeless Talk. We'll see you guys next week. Stay up. Drink some water. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking hot. Stay hydrated. It's hot as shit out there, guys. See you next week.